Kyrie Irving knows how to score the basketball. This is not news, but it sure was fun watching him do it last night. If you look at highlights of last night's second and third quarters all packaged mm. together, it, it almost feels like a recruiting tape. Except, of course, Kyrie wasn't making all those moves against a bunch of kids on their way to band practice. He was doing all this against the number one seed during the Eastern Conference Finals. At one point, we heard Chris Webber say this. I mean, he reminds me of a guy I played with, Rod Strickland. You just looked at him and like, how did you finish this shot? Taking it up, moving so much, and getting the contact. He's so good a finisher. Which, of course, makes sense since Rod Strickland is Kyrie's godfather. Nah. And Kyrie <laughs> spent his formative years in New Jersey learning all of Rod's tricks. Our friend Amin Al Hassan did this great piece on ESPN.com a couple years ago, breaking down exactly what Rod taught Kai. And here's Strickland using those great handles to challenge pace and direction. You know, he just leaves his defenders looking like they're playing in a different time zone sometimes. And here is Kyrie doing the same thing. It's that switch up. And then there are all those finishing tricks around the rim. Wow. You can watch the way Rod used to use the glass, right? All the favors up here, ooing and eyeing, both hands. Kyrie is doing the exact same stuff. But I got to tell you guys, here is the other interesting layer to what we saw last night. And this part is something no one could teach Kyrie. He had to learn it on his own. There is a difference between being a guy who believes he can go out and win a game for his team and being a guy who believes he can go out and win these games in the playoffs when the stakes are sky high and every move is under the microscope. Earlier this year, Kyrie told me he hadn't fully made that evolution until game seven of last year's finals when he sank that shot at the end. As soon as the ball went through the net, he said any of those little voices that might make him doubt himself, they all disappeared. Take a listen. It is freeing, right? Because all of that criticism that you heard, even early in the NBA Finals, people saying, oh, he's shooting too much, his assists aren't high enough, that kind of thing. It seems like you felt vindicated by that. The vindication came not just from proving everyone else wrong. The vindication came from um, living up to my own expectations. I stopped necessarily putting energy in that place of trying to make everyone happy. Now when I started realizing that, that part of listening to all that will never matter to me, ever. It, it, it has no energy bearing on, on or effect on my life. So why give it energy now? This is just basketball. Just love it and go out there and play. So if Kyrie Irving never again looks like the moment may be too big for him, that is why. The moves he got as a kid, the courage, he earned that all on his own. Cavaliers needed both last night, and he delivered. Guys, Kyrie taking over big games. We see he's got, he's got the rod moves. We see he's got the guts now to do it. Do you think, Trace, this is a sign of things to come on well, this team? Well, I look back at Kyrie before LeBron got there. I always knew he had game. Right now, it's just being on a, a – I think the world is, is seeing how great this kid is um, on a bigger stage. He's always had game. I didn't know he could finish like that. There's a lot of guys in this league, point guard-wise, that are pretty good. But when the stakes are high, how good can you be? He's being great. He's not afraid of the moment. He's shown that over and over. And last night was, I mean, it was just a tell of that moving forward. Yeah. I mean, Paul, you're... Oh, man, <laughs> without a doubt. I mean, he was special. I mean, and, and, you know, when you can go out there, with, you have a LeBron on your team, you know, most players cater to their superstar. But Kyrie, he understands the moment when he has to do the takeover thing. You know, that's the one special thing about it. He doesn't have to do it every night, but it's in the bag because he has a LeBron. He has a Kevin Love, but he senses the moment, and you saw that last night. Do you guys have to learn the way Kyrie said he had to learn that thing of, okay, I'm just not going to worry what anyone else thinks. I'm just going to go out and do it, no matter how important this moment is. I think it's something that you kind of grow into. I think the familiarity of him and LeBron playing together and getting used to each other over time. Uh, LeBron has always been a guy that dominates and takes over games late in the game. But now he is getting a little older. There's injuries and things of that nature. They say he was sick a little bit. So when a guy like Kyrie steps up, it just continues to build his confidence. And as Trace and these guys said, he's always had this, this kind of game. It's just a matter of when he's able to put it out there on the line. And there's not going to be too many games where LeBron James played the way that he did last night, four fouls in the first half, that he's going to have that opportunity. But every time I've watched him and he's had that opportunity, 
he's rose to the occasion. And he's built on mm -hmm. it, right? I mean, yes. now that he's been in the finals, he's done that. You can see him putting it into I work mean, here. Last night performance was bigger than the performance he put on in game seven to yeah. me. Really? Hold on, Pitt. Well, because I didn't I felt like <laughs> last night Pitt, game was so Pitt. important. <laughs> no. I, what? He was down. He did not win a game without LeBron. He didn't win game seven without LeBron. Last True. night, True. he pretty much kept them in that game True until yeah. LeBron True came indeed, back. but they had another game to look forward to. This is game seven well, of the NBA Finals. You don't want to look final. forward to playing 2-2 two -two going back to Boston. They are the number one seed. Let's not forget that. Pitt, we're talking about game seven of the NBA Finals. There's no tomorrow. Okay. The stage tomorrow. is definitely locked. My, the my stage point is, is I get what you're saying. My point is they're still fighting to get to the Finals. Right. right. Yes. Okay? And we're expecting them to get there. But if they lose that game last night, they got some uh -oh. problems. If they lose that game last night, I still think nobody in the world thinks they lose this <laughs> no. series. No. Well, I, I, I don't think they would lose the series, but trust me, they don't want to go back to Boston. The time. stakes could, were, true, could true. have been bigger in game seven, and I have to agree with these guys, but I will say that the performance and what he contributed could have been yeah. a bigger I, I thought last night. night's performance was, was huge. I mean, he didn't score 42 in game seven, did he? Yeah. He did I no, but, 41, but, right? Yeah, but early in that series, he <laughs> scored 41. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did do it by himself at a time. He, look, they were down by more than 10 when LeBron went with his fourth foul. And exactly. the truth is, if he didn't come in and rescue them, they would have been in more trouble. And the fact it that, he, was something that they he came out and maintained that 10-point until LeBron was able to get back, get into, back the game into the game because Boston was pulling away.